It can happen in an instant. A stroke can leave a person debilitated and dependent on others. And while some clinical trials are focusing on extending the treatment window and the time that patients can receive life-saving drugs, researchers are now also using stem cells, trying to repair the damage to patients' brains. Julian Fowles was a busy entertainment lawyer who loves to dance. My wife just loves to salsa. But the music stopped when Julian had a stroke about five yeah. years ago. I lost use of my uh, legs and left arm and my face fell. Experts say the effects of a stroke can be reversed if the patient gets to the hospital within a 24-hour window. But Julian didn't seek help till the next day. Speech can be slurred or lost. Eyesight can be affected. Now there's new hope using stem cells. These are the building blocks of our bodies. Researchers at the University of Miami are conducting a clinical trial injecting stem cells from healthy donors into the damaged areas of patients' brains. That we can actually get the brain to start to heal, regenerate neurons, and for the first time, produce you know, an improvement in these patients' symptoms. The minimally invasive procedure is done through a one-inch incision in the skull. With the idea that the cells will stimulate repair uh, off the stroke area. And strengthening weak limbs. Julian had the procedure last July, but because it's a double-blind study, he does not know whether he got the stem cells or not. I'm looking forward to some change. He's feeling stronger every day, rowing as part of his rehab. He's hoping the stem cells are helping him and someday others recover from stroke. It is called act Actisema. It's a trial. Patients should be between the ages of 18 and 85 and have suffered a stroke in the previous six months to seven and a half years. There are 60 clinical sites across the country, including some here in Texas.